Has this ever happened to you? Uh, I'm, I'm making art and it, it sucks dick and balls and I hate myself. Then you need Shikari A Colorful Tale. A new world where one person gets to wield a magical paintbrush, taking the burden of creativity off of your worthless ass. Uh, everything I make sucks, so it's really cool this uh, rabbit they did instead. I'm sure that's healthy for me because I don't have any talent, and if I did anything, it would be bad, and that's not good, so now I don't have to. Oh, uh, this is a great system. I don't think anything will ever go wrong. Uh-oh. Well, the, the brush is just sitting here. You know, I could take it for just a second. Not for the length of any kind of I'm a colorful tail. <laughs> Chicory is a video game that is also a coloring book. Everything in the game can be colored over however you want, for better or for worse. Even the characters are at your mercy. <laughs> the game invites you to stop and color whatever you want whenever you want to do it. You could stop to color each screen, or just run past everything and use the brush where the puzzles demand it. There's no extrinsic reward or punishment either way. The most fun places to color are the towns. Obviously they're the most visually interesting, but characters will ask you to color in shirts, donuts, their houses, whatever else you damn well please, because I'm the boss, and I say, we are making pentagram donuts now. Between each landmark are long winding roads full of puzzles that are mostly just vehicles for getting from place to place. The brush interacts with a ton of different puzzle elements, lighting up caves, growing big mushrooms that make sploosh sounds, bombs, whatever the fuck is going on with these plants. Most of these things make big bursts of color that naturally will fill in the world around you for areas that would otherwise be pretty exhausting to fill in manually. If you keep swapping between colors while doing this, you can get a pretty cool looking effect. There's often second, more challenging puzzles just off to the side that reward you with new clothing items, and you can get absolutely just dripped out. The puzzles have kind of a curvy mentality where just getting through the critical path is pretty trivial, but there are a lot of optional challenges that will crank up the difficulty if you so choose to indulge. The world of Chicory has exactly one paintbrush, the only object capable of making color. You have it, and it's your responsibility to travel across the land and bring color into the world. You might think this means you need to have some kind of drawing skill to most effectively play this game, or even to enjoy it, but really the truth is the complete opposite. The game demands absolutely no artistic skill from the player, and even if you are a skilled artist, the tools the game gives you are so pitiful it gimps anyone into drawing uh, like this. There are three possible brush sizes and a palette of four colors per area, and that is all you get. You're basically making MS Paint drawings the whole time, and they have the same kind of crappiness as something you would make with the program as a little kid. And you probably could get proper drawing tablets working with this game, but I think that would be missing the point. This is not a professional drawing program, you're really just meant to get in there and do your best with what you got. It could also be that my art skills have not improved since I was 8 years old. You can find brush styles hidden in secret areas around the world that let you quickly layer some textures and patterns. If you want to make some decent looking environments quickly, throwing down some of these are an easy way to get some detail into the environment. It doesn't look perfect, but for how quick and easy it is, I think it looks alright. And your tools never expand beyond this point. Your character progression is entirely based on movement, being able to swim through crevices and jump small gaps to get around faster into new areas. The surface level appeal of this game is pretty obvious. Kick back, relax, draw something, and a cute little rat tells you you did a good job. That's awesome. If you really wanted it to be, that could be your entire experience with the game. But you probably figured out uh, this goes a lot deeper than beyond the surface. And to figure out just how deep, we now have to ask the question. If you suck at drawing, and purposefully so, why does your stupid baby brain idiot face have the one paintbrush in the entire world? Surely there's someone more qualified than this. Well, there is, but she disappeared, and you found her brush on the floor and decided to be a naughty little boy. And then this happened. Okay, I don't want to do that shit ever again, I'll just drop it back off to the previous wielder who is here now. This is Chicory, not the main character, and the game makes absolutely sure you know she is cool as shit and better than you, uh, but she just kind of told me to piss off and keep the brush, so uh, well I guess I'm stuck with this. 
Well, it can't be that bad. I'll just start coloring some stuff in. Looks alright, and oh, let's check out this tree. Oh, God damn it. Chicory is a video game coloring book that has boss fights. They're not mechanically intensive, they're pretty much just small bullet hells, but the presentation is incredible. Every attack and animation is synchronized with the music in a way that's beautiful and terrifying. They may as well just exist as an excuse for Lena Rain music to play while cool visuals are on the screen, but any excuse for Lena Rain music is a good excuse. You could probably sell this game just by mentioning she worked on it. If you just want to chill out with the story and coloring, you can just disable these bosses completely, but I would really recommend you give them a try first. At this point, you may have questions such as, what the hell is going on? Is this one of those FNAFs I've heard about? Well, the cause of all of this is this rabbit. Was that helpful? This is a story about Chicory, the previous wielder of the brush and an incredibly gifted artist that everyone seems to love. You're a nobody that cleaned her tower just because you admired her work so much. You aren't talented or special or good at anything. You just happened to be at the right place at the right time to grab the brush when she wasn't around. Chicory won't even talk to you at the start of the game, but as you progress she slowly starts to open up and it doesn't take long to piece together what's going on here. She swings between wanting absolutely nothing to do with you, to calling to apologize, to doing just an incredible amount of self-loathing. And along the way she'll insist you're doing a fine job as the wielder, but as things progress it becomes increasingly obvious she's basically just tossed all her responsibilities on the first person that was stupid enough to happen to cross them and pick them up. Which is you. You, you did that. Other characters will comment on her behavior and constantly wonder why someone so talented wanted to throw everything away. There's a small interaction with a random NPC in the swamp area, where this character will talk about how Chicory just came to touch up some colors, which should be an easy routine job for her, and she just kind of stood there redoing it over and over before giving up and leaving. And this guy just wanted the swamp colored in a bit. Her mentor is a character that really just exists to talk massive shit about her and how gifted she used to be before giving it all up. It's easy even just playing the game normally and trying to do your best to color in the environment to fall into these same mental traps as Chicory. Just constantly scrutinizing your own work, noticing minor problems, redoing it over and over and getting frustrated with yourself. Like this can't really be good enough. Like how am I this bad at doing this? How hard could it be? Look what other people have done. And she is super talented, she does really deserve this thing. If the game doesn't make it clear by telling you there's a really cute scene where you both draw each other and- God damn, girl, what? The tools the game gives you aside, I couldn't do this shit if my life depended on it. And the first thing out of her mouth is like, ooh, the line work is sloppy, like, what are you talking about? And this interaction right here is the crux of the entire game. I'm not bullshitting you, this is me honestly trying my best to draw her. I don't think it looks terrible, all things considered, but this is my second playthrough and, you know, I've improved a lot. Oh, do you want to see my first try? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But she'll always insist your drawing is great and is genuinely appreciative. And yeah, she says that no matter what you do, you can just draw a dick if you're a naughty little freak and the dialogue won't change. But assuming you actually engage with the game and put an honest effort into it, it's a lot more meaningful than you might think. There are a lot of conversations like the one I mentioned previously with this guy where the characters around the towns don't even think about being critical of any of the work being done by Chicory or by you. Almost every character is unrelentingly positive about your drawings and will at worst tell you they would have preferred a different color. They don't care about the details, they just appreciate that you did something and that it's done. And I thought the positivity of the NPCs was just completely grating at first. They'll say you did a good job, but they say that no matter what you do. And you can look at what they said was a good job in. Well, it looks like this. And at first, you probably won't take too much from that. Like, of course they're gonna say that, whatever. And then in this scene, the roles are reversed. You gotta judge someone else's work for once. Someone who is so much more skilled than you. And someone with an actual eye for art. You know, maybe they can tell me she is right, the line work is sloppy, it breaks the artist's Geneva convention, I don't give a shit. This looks fantastic. This is the big trick without Chicory Tackle's feelings of inadequacy and imposter syndrome. It sets you up through your encounter with the brush being incidental, how the wielders who came before you were idealized to feel like you shouldn't be the one with this power, and that you're no good at it. And then it smashes those conceptions through the reality of your interactions with the other characters, and most importantly Chicory, who was in your exact same situation. And if nothing else, it's comforting to see someone so plainly skilled struggling with the same things you might be. And if they're struggling with it, then, well maybe what you're doing isn't so bad after all. The game also never asserts any feelings of inadequacy as a personal failing of you or any of the characters in. Without spoiling too much of the ending. Chicory suggests a world where people can be allowed to create things without certain institutions breathing down their necks with an incredible pressure to perform and constantly compare themselves to others trying to outdo one another in a hellish rat race to the top. It suggests that people should be able to just express themselves. Everything after that will come naturally. The reality is most people are really not that critical of art. There are Marvel fans out there. 
and everyone knows the you are your own worst critic saying, but I think that really undersells how capable you are of just completely despising anything you make. The way that Chicory kind of forces you to make this art and confront this part of yourself before reversing the roles is honestly genius. I can't think of many other games where the main gameplay loop is so intimately tied to the message of the game and it can be applied far beyond just drawing. If you've ever made art or done something creative before, you will probably resonate with the story. I wanted to talk about this game specifically because of how much it did resonate with me. Even though the most I've ever done for creating art is putting out these crappy YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't even be trying to make these videos if I didn't play this game. Chicory seems like a pretty niche game on the surface, but I think way more people could get something out of this than it seems at first glance. I forced one of my friends who was actually good at drawing to play this. He did not have a choice, it was at gunpoint. And I think he enjoyed it, but I don't think it really resonated with him as much as I had expected. I had to bribe him with the Fortnite Battle Pass to get him to finish it. We are all very normal together. But I think that just shows how much the mechanical aspect of actually drawing and creating art is kind of secondary in this game. This is really a game about healing anxieties and just having fun creating things. Not because you're good at it, oh god it's not because of that, but because we need to express ourselves. It's part of being human. Or a rabbit. Or a dog. Or this guy. This is Pickle. If you play this game, go right one screen, talk to him, let him use the brush at the start of the game. It's important. Trust. Hopefully I got someone out there to give this game a try, or even just to get in there and make something. And don't be ashamed if it's bad. Everyone has to make stuff that sucks before they can make anything good. And who knows, maybe one day, I'll make a good YouTube video. That'll be the day.